Good morning, guys. Good morning, good morning. It's 6.20 a.m. We are off to Marilake this morning. And I was just seeing some commodity drivers here running the road, almost hit by a U-turning taxi and he almost hit the bus in front of him it's a great day to ride uh, up to Marilaki today the sun's out and hopefully it's not gonna rain until we get home and uh, there he is What's up by Shao Pugon and uh, feel our tanks. So let's see how we are doing. We are averaging 43.3 kilometers now with Scarlet. There. So that's um, that's the good thing. We can see how your fuel consumption is doing. Okay, so he's coming. I'm starting to roll. We're going up here and we get a shot of the uh, MT15. Yeah, we got the brand new MT15. That was like a smaller MT07. There's always a vehicle, you get caught behind some fucking car. <laughs> Going through the best part of the the road. You know what they say. The louder the pipes, the smaller the TT. That's a proven fact. They did a study. Yeah. Motorcycle magazine did a five year study. And found that as the pipes got louder the TT Got smaller. Yeah, I got a dude here with some weird tricycle looking thing. It looks like it's off center. There, I guess it kind of leans in the turn. But comes a couple of them. Okay, so um, 
we are on our way home now and we are just passing by um, Masumi Jigo Reserve on the bike so there you see it um, the new Honda Click 125i game changer is the new bike for Lady Misfit Rider here and we're uh, so I got the red one, red and black. They have new colors. Um, as I have mentioned from the previous vlogs, they um, stop manufacturing the space, oh no, the metallic gray and the uh, metallic magenta. And um, they also upgraded on their decals. It's bold. Easier to um, see. And then, um, for the other features of the bike that I like, um, I really like it, the um, panel gauge here, which are all digital. You can also see uh, um, uh, on the panel gauge, you have the odometer and then the trip meters. You have two trip uh, meters, which you can toggle. Um, depends on how you use them. Usually I use trip meter A to track my current um, uh, current meter readings on my uh, bike, uh, especially if I just um, topped up with my gas. Uh, this is for me to check if I need to um, gas up again or not, although you have this um, fuel gauge here that also uh, what do you call this um, that also gives you um, a hint or oh, I don't know what do you call that it actually um, flashes if you need to gas up already so I think it flashes when you're down to one meter uh, one, uh, one liter that means you uh, your gas is running low and then also on the panel gauge you can see the voltmeter so you know how um, your battery is at and uh, the fuel efficiency of the bike um, during um, work days i use scarlet from tondo to bgc and bgc to tondo uh, that's where i usually use her and running through traffic in um, Rojas Boulevard and Makati and BGC also uh, it averages at around 43 kilometers per liter now I just checked her earlier uh, running through the roads of Marilake um, it was at 48 uh, 48 kilometers per liter so it really depends on traffic and how fast you drive the bike also um, what else do we see in the panel gauge of course your uh, speed is there and um, what I really like about the bike is even if it's a scooter you do not need much of that um, I don't know what you call force to speed up the FI game changer so it really gets you to 80 kilometers per hour um, without you really noticing it so with a torque of um, at around 11 horsepower that's a pretty good one for a 1 to 5 automatic bike mm -hmm. uh, it's also um, silent you barely can hear the engine running especially when you start it um, the muffler is nice it has the aluminum tip and it also has a guard um, crush guard over there um, and it's uh, it has a utility box I really don't put my helmet inside the utility box but it's an 18 liter utility box which can house a uh, half, um, uh, 
have face helmet. I have not tried it, but according to advertisements, yes, it can. I only put some of my stuff in there. What else is nice about this bike? Um, the voltmeter, yes, I already told the uh, voltmeter is already there. So the guy from the more, uh, from Motor Trade told me that um, usually the voltmeter is supposed to be at 14 volts and up or higher when it's running. So if it doesn't go up that much, um, it means that your battery needs to be changed already. So that's the best thing about getting all this um, details of your bike in just one touch here at your panel gauge um oh and of course the best thing that i like in here is the clock <laughs> for uh, for my previous bike the raider 150i rafa uh that's my friend the clock on on the panel gauge why because it's, I, I know how, how, how I would speed up or slow down, especially when I'm going to work. Now, what else? Um, the keys uh, or the keyholes. You have there um, the keyhole and the seat lock. So if you do not um, turn on your keys to the seat lock, it doesn't open your um, seat here that's a good thing also and when you actually lock the bike it actually turns the um, that key lock there um, where uh, you cannot insert your key if you do not if you do, if they cannot um, force open the keyhole if you don't have your keys with you Okay, what else? They have pockets here where I can usually, uh, you can usually hold um, small bottles of water because it's not too deep, especially on the right side there. And um, what's the nice, oh, it's a combi brake also. So if you press on this left lever, it will give you 80% of the rear brake and 20% of the front brakes working. Although you can still use both of the levers to hit on the brakes. Mm. Ano pa? Um, the lights are nice, especially in the morning when I go to work at 3 o'clock a.m. Uh, the lights are pretty good. It's uh, They are, I think, all LED lights already and uh, they are very bright but it's already dark um, the signal lights are also um, down by the um, mud guard already so it's not incorporated on the, uh, on the tail light so if something breaks or if it's I think if the light's not gonna work you don't have to move out the tail light and um, worked on the signal light because it's already separated. Oh, I, I'm thinking of something that I really like also with this bike. Uh, what else? Of course the color, no? It's um, a personal thing for the color. I really like red. If you notice, Rafa also was a red one. Although the pink should be nice as well, but of course they they don't have it anymore in, in the stores. Um, the only thing that, as of the moment, that I don't like are the tires. Um, it's a little slick. It slides off, especially if the road is... See, the brake works. Okay, there you go. Um, the tires, we go back to the tires, it's a pretty slick, um, especially when the roads are wet, no? Um, you better be careful if you are using the, this game changer. I think both um, 125i and 150i have the same um, stop tires. 
but uh, the mugs are good and also it comes with tubeless tires already so this is stock tires are tubeless but still um if i will be asked um i would be i would rather um change the tires or soonest so uh, since it's already rainy season i almost led that the other day when it was raining when i went to work um and that flyover going to bgc because of some um, asphalt thing that they they uh, place on the road other than that uh nothing the horns are on the left side here um it's actually in the middle in between your um your high beam and low beam toggle switch here and your signal light switch down there all right so there on the left side and on the right side you have this uh, switch start so um and all, also i forgot to mention the new game changers um, 2018 and 2019 model alike, so both um, 150 and 125, has no kick starters. Okay, so um, you better be careful doing on your um, engine switch. Also, um, clicks uh, batteries are not on this uh, on the back portion or under the seat. It's actually down by your. I don't know what do you call this uh, the floorboard yeah uh, here down by the floorboard now um, it's actually uh, pretty safe if it's not raining or uh, the roads not flooded but still be careful because um, it might get wet so it will cause damage to your battery and of course if the battery is damaged your bike won't work okay let's get some space here all right i think that's pretty much it for the first imp uh, for my uh, um first impressions on the bike i uh, was hesitant previously to get this bike but it's serving me good Oh, by the way, I already have the ORCR, so if you look at the pictures, I already have my um, MV file written down, written out there. And I also was, um, I also uh, did not use it after seven days from its release from Motor Trade, because that's what they told me. I can only use it um, for the first seven days. Well, after release, um, but then I cannot use it on national roads after until I get my ORCR. So I got my ORCR 20 days after. That's very good, Motor Trade. Nice one there. That was so quick. And also I um, got my parking sticker on our building already. So I don't need to park outside and pay 50 peso every day going to work with this bike okay so if you like this bike it actually um, has a new retail value of 76,900 compared to the old game changer which is 74,900 so that's 2,000 more for new bolt decals and I don't know aside from that I don't even know what's the difference between the two nothing much and uh, the fuel tank I forgot about the fuel tank it's pretty large for a scooter it actually holds up to 5.5 liters of gas okay and um, I usually put on or put in um, uh, Octane 95 for this bike. I once, I think, placed or got uh, 97. But 95 is already a pretty good deal 
for this bike and uh, the full tank gets me to work for um, one week already so um, from Tondo to BGC uh, that's almost uh, 31 to 32 kilometers a day back and forth no is it okay so there you go so that's it for the review I hope you like it just check on the features you can go to Honda Philippines motorcycles and then um, hit on scooters and there you will find the new click 125i game changer it doesn't have it's not keyless okay so not like the 150 the 150 is keyless this one has keys all right there you go and we're here at Shell Bosso Bosso. And then you can also do it the other way. Here. Like there. See? So it locked both ways. And then for the digital panel, so we have all those um, features have the clock and then the trip A meter this is the select button so that's the trip B that's from the time that it actually um, had the all change on Friday or on Thursday and then we also have the average speed or fuel efficiency it's 49.6 if you can see that kilometers per liter for this trip today usually it's 43 kilometers per liter during traffic time um, going back and forth home to work work to home and then you have here the speedometer okay and then the voltmeter which is 12.7 usually if it's not running I'll show you when it's um, turned on later on and then um, the total odometer is there see it's 718 kilometers from the first time it was used it's 1125 a.m. here and look at this some um, LED lights they are pretty much nice it lights up there and that's in low beam and when it's high beam it's like that low and high low and high so the brake levers are here it's combi brake so if you are going to push the left but left lever you see that there is something that uh, the the right uh, the right lever brake also moves. If you can see that. Okay, and then we have the ground clearance, which is 132 centimeters. It's actually pretty high and nice because it doesn't scrape humps when you go through humps. And then it has the broad vehicles they're bold vehicles and yeah, see there's the high beam and then there's the turn light signal on left right there um there are a lot of things that you can see here i don't know how to make that appear but it's there the temperature the check fuel light is there also and what else and this is where the that battery is so there we go so let's check on that signal light left see and then right there. So it's not incorporated with the brake lights. 
and then we'll have to turn it off and then I'll show you how the brake light works Let's see. there so the brake light works very nice okay so there you go so that's my first impression with this click 125i game changer um, 2019 model you have the Honda emblem here That's much about it and um, I hope to give you a review maybe after six months of using it so there's the front brake liquid here there we go and uh, let's try starting it see so it's very very quiet when you start it oh and of course if you pull down the the um, side stand of it it actually turns off the engine look hear that so you cannot start the engine when the side stand is down that's a little safer okay so there we go that's it for the review oops I need to get something from there yeah